Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about what are the components that are involved in Citrix infrastructure and how users access the applications through this Citrix infrastructure. So I will give a basic introduction of the Citrix components here. So let's say there is a user. Okay. So there is a user. Sorry for my drawing skills. So there is a user here. So this user has a laptop. Okay, it's a laptop. Or it could be any device, okay? It could be any device. And this could be laptop or iPad or iPhone or desktop or any other device. So basically user connects to the storefront URL. So user basically opens up a web browser and types a URL. And once user types a URL, the Citrix URL, and once the user hits enter, so what happens is, um, so user, there is a component called Netscaler. Okay, when user connects from the external environment, so this is a firewall here and this is also a firewall and user connects to the Netscaler first. Okay, so this is the uh, Netscaler, Netscaler device. It's one of the uh, uh, Citrix components in Citrix infrastructure. So user connects through the firewall to the Netscaler. So through the Netscaler, user connects to the storefront server okay after storefront user connects to delivery controller or desktop delivery controller or uh, controller whatever you call it so i'm gonna say controller okay so uh, after controller user connects to server virtualization environment okay let's say ESXi, VMware ESXi, okay? I'm gonna just, and there are some virtual machines here, okay? This is one, this is one. So there are several virtual machines here. So these machines could be Windows 8 or Windows 10 or any other operating system. So there is a user here who has a device it could be laptop or desktop or iPad or iPhone or any other device. So user opens up a web browser and types a Citrix URL. So you user connects to the Netscaler first, okay? And after Netscaler, user connects to the storefront server. After storefront server, user connects to the controller and to this uh, backend environment. So, so there is also a database involved here. Okay, so I'm gonna just mention here database SQL. Okay, and there is also a license server. I'll just type LS. Okay, so this is a license server and this is a SQL server. And also there are other components like let's say Citrix uh, uh, director. Okay, Citrix director. And uh, let's say there is another component called Citrix uh, Studio. Okay. So basically, user connects to the Netscaler first and then the request goes to the storefront server. And here there would also be AD or Active Directory. Okay, so in this video, I'm not going to explain the logon process. So I'm not going to explain the logon process. But in this video, I would like to say that uh, every network uh, infrastructure component, every Citrix infrastructure component would have redundancy. So what is redundancy is basically there would not there, there is no one Netscaler here. You would have at least a couple of Netscalers. So they are in HA basically. 
So what happens is if one net scaler goes down for whatever reason, so the other net scaler would take over and it sends the traffic. Okay, so they they are like a payer basically so so whatever configuration this net scaler has even this net scaler has the same uh, configuration and they would be in sync all the time and where, when there is a network uh, when there is a slight disconnection between these two net scalers when there is a heartbeat failure for let's say 20 seconds then the other net scaler takes over automatically Okay, if or if this net scaler goes down for whatever reason, let's say uh, it's a failure, hardware failure, just say, let's say, then this net scaler will automatically fail, uh, fail over to the other net scaler. So basically what I'm trying to say here is, you always have a couple of net scalers. There, uh, there, there is no single point of failure here. You would have at least a couple of net scalers. Okay, so after net scaler, let's say you have storefront. When it comes to storefront, even in storefront, you have two storefront servers. It's not one storefront. You would have two storefront servers. Okay. And uh, it's for load balancing purpose again. So if one storefront goes down, the other storefront server would uh, help to serve the traffic. All right. So this is storefront server, which is also a Citrix component. Now let's, uh, let's talk about controller. Okay, so controller is one of the uh, key components or the core infrastructure components in Citrix infrastructure. So if controller goes down, then everything is down basically. So even a uh, delivery controller or controller, it, it would not be one, one a single controller. You would have at least a few controllers, okay? In some environments you have like, I don't know, eight controllers or 10 controllers, but minimum you would have at least two controllers okay two controllers now let's talk about license server okay this is also a citrix component so when it comes to license server uh, you can have one license server okay one license server is enough and for whatever reason this license server goes down uh you would have a grace period you would get a grace period of like 30 days and applications would still launch without any issues so you can have one license server but in some environments you can have a couple of license servers as well but usually customers what they would like to do is they would have a different license server in a different location but not in the same location so this is the license server and okay let's talk about uh, the server virtualization environment so this could be vmware esxi server or it could be citrix zen server or it could be any other server virtualization environment where you install the hypervisor role on top of hypervisor role you have these virtual machines created and users basically when they connect to citrix vdi environment when they access citrix virtual desktops so a request goes from here like this okay and once they get authenticated they go through storefront controller and you know of course they would like to check with the sql database about uh, you know whatever resources are available for this particular user okay so that information will will come back to controller and uh, let's say if this user is assigned to uh, access a, a VDI machine or virtual desktop machine then that information uh, would uh, I mean the controller would seek that information from SQL server and controller would talk to their uh, uh, VDI machines and it can uh, you know uh, uh, serve these machines to the end user basically okay so uh, yeah in this video basically I would like to uh, highlight that you know every Citrix infrastructure component would be in high availability or it would have redundancy so that if this goes down this will take over if this goes down this will take over okay if this goes down this will take over so even in the backend server virtualization environment it's not one single ESXi server you would have a lot of ESXi servers here in the cluster Okay, and you have you have the concepts like high availability and uh, fault tolerance. So basically, if whatever reason, if the virtual machine, if the 
yes xi server goes down then these machines these machines would uh, migrate to a different DSXI host and it would uh, restart it would power on so these are some of the concepts that we have in um, server virtualization environment uh, so that you know users uh, users would be uh, less impacted when these things happen so yeah this is what i would like to highlight in this uh, video this is just a brief introduction i didn't go through the logon process maybe i'll talk about the logon process in the coming videos and uh, yes on this uh, basically on this end user device user should install a piece of software called citrix uh, receiver or a citrix workspace so this needs to be installed here okay citrix receiver or Citrix workspace. Uh, once this is installed, then uh, you know uh, users can uh, access uh, Citrix applications. So yes, guys. So this is what I would like to uh, mention in this particular video. Uh, I hope you find this information helpful. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.